So that is the sound of people living in an encampment in San Rafael. And that is what they had to hear all night long or used to hear. A Marin County judge has just ordered a nearby business to stop blasting that music, at least for now. Kelsey Thord has the story. Bruce Gaylord has lived in this homeless encampment off Lincoln Avenue in San Rafael for the past year. He says he came here after falling on hard times. I was moving from Sun City, Arizona up to Oregon and I stopped at a hospital to get medication and my truck was stolen out of the hospital parking lot. Bruce says for the longest time things were fine at the encampment. He had an area to himself and it was nice. But then one night, about two months ago, he says the nearby tire shop, East Bay Tire Company, started blasting loud music. Played it for 12 hours a day, 36 hours, a day and a half, uh, at 6 uh, p.m. till 6 a.m. The music was so loud, Bruce says he didn't sleep for days. Became manic to some extent. Uh, they ended up putting me in the hospital uh, on a 5250 and holding me and getting me back on my meds and stuff like that. Bruce says the experience was traumatic, so much so he sued the tire company to try and get them to stop playing the music. Yeah. With the help of a homeless advocate and civil yeah, rights attorney, this week a judge sided with Bruce issuing a preliminary injunction barring the tire shop from playing the loud music. It was obvious they never denied, the defendants never denied playing the music, that they put this speaker up on a pole uh, and did this specifically to uh, harass and harm individuals living in this encampment. We reached out to the tire shop for comment but did not get a reply. The encampment Bruce is living in is already a part of another lawsuit fighting against a city ordinance banning camping on public property. An injunction was issued in that case, allowing Bruce and all others at the encampment to stay there while that suit goes through the courts. Even with all this going on, Bruce says he's just trying to live his life and get back on his feet. I'm saving up money for a van and live in the van and then I'll make up a decision where I'm gonna go from there. While he has to be here though, he says he just wants to be able to live his life in peace and get a good night's sleep.